Hello, uh, my name is Ryan Cunningham. I'm in the music production program here at Full Sail University. For my interview, I decided to interview someone that I'm lucky enough to be learning from currently every day when it comes to the music business. His name is Terry Hudson. Uh, he has actually been in the entertainment industry for almost 20 years now. Currently, he is the entertainment manager at Aviv Moon Productions, the Aviv Agency, as well as the newly formed record label Oak Hill Music in Charlotte, North Carolina. For my first question, I uh, asked Terry, what do you see as the role of visual art in society today, particularly within your profession? He said, inspiration and motivation. A great painting can relax the one viewing it, causing their creativity to come forth more readily. The content can also inspire speeches, causes, and romantic feelings. Videos and motion pictures can create riot, riot movements, or in the cases such as Rocky or Pumping Iron, they can motivate fitness crazes. In the music industry, I have learned that it is imperative to match the song with the visual. In the case of Michael Jackson, pairing his song with early video creativity, one of the biggest selling albums of all time emerged. Even a bad song, if it has a great video, can be a big seller because of the picture it paints in someone's mind. Also, in the motion pictures, the visual and audio soundtrack complement each other to create an incredible experience for the moviegoer. In turn, substantial publishing money is created for the song. Let's also not forget the album and CD artwork that motivates you to pick up the CD in the first place. I then said, New communication and media technology make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field or industry? He responded, I believe the answer is both. The new technology has made it possible for a great independent artist who otherwise would not get noticed to have a more even playing field by getting their material through social media. Cameras, cameras on phones and computers as well as lower costs on video equipment also make it easier to get to the social media technologies. Same aspects have a negative effect, though, because so much of the material is out there that you can get lost in the sea of it if you don't know how to market yourself properly. My third question for Terry was, what popular images do you see are frequently repeated throughout your industry? His answer for this was actually pretty simple. He said love, violence, fun, religious content, and wealth. For the next question, I asked him, who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite st style of visual art? He took a minute on this one and then he responded, I spend hours in museums staring at paintings. I love to view the brush strokes and try to see what about the content drew the artist to it. I try to understand what the artist is trying to say. Picasso and Rembrandt are two of my favorites even though they are extremely different. They inspired me, they both inspired me to paint, which has led me to placing second in an international contest, which in turn provided the scholarship that paid for my college. I'm also a big fan of film. My favorite periods are the 30s and 40s with Howe B. Wallace and David Selznick, the 70s with Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola, and Stanley Kubrick, and the 80s with Steven Spielberg and Oliver Stone. For the last question with Terry, I asked him, how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? He said, very much so. I've used many of the things I saw growing up to create music projects, videos, paintings, and marketing campaigns, speeches, and lectures as well. It has taught me greatly what causes people to emotionally own something you present to them. This has been the reason for my success. If I know how to get you to see the visual so you become more than just interested, but rather emotionally attached, then I've created something to change your life. My calling is to change people's lives. It truly was a great experience getting to sit down with Terry and discuss how the visual aspects of art have affected his creativity, and also what effect it has had on him within his industry. You know, dealing mainly in the music industry, you wouldn't think that he would have a lot to say about the visual arts, but in the end it turned out that he was actually helping him to change his life and also the lives of everyone around him. I would like to thank Terry Hudson for all of his help 
and also for sharing his thoughts and stories with me. Uh, again, this has been Ryan Cunningham, and I hope that you enjoyed the podcast. I also look forward to working with everyone in the near future. All of the images in this podcast were taken from Google Images or Facebook.